Let's be friends. I'm strong and independent, ready to settle down. And why can't I find a good man? Let's talk about it. Because this was definitely made by an incel who does not know how anatomy works. For those of you not understanding this visual representation, this is supposed to be representative of a woman's happy place getting progressively larger as she sleeps with more men and her mentality changing along with that. That's what this is supposed to do. So there's two layers. It's the change in mentality and the change in anatomy. So I'll do the mentality first and then I'll do the anatomy part second. So stay tuned for that. You could tell it's an insult because he's complaining about the friend zone. But if you want to go by this chart, she's not telling everyone, let's be friends. She's just telling the incel that. Or the nice guy, whichever, however way you want to think about it. The one who thinks that friendship with women is a waste of time, which is why they're complaining about let's be friends. Y'all ever wonder if women don't sleep with you because you don't view them as people? Hmm. This one is supposed to be ironic. It's supposed to be some sort of irony that women say that they're strong and independent while sleeping with more men. But I don't really understand how those are even related. But it's not ironic because strong and independent women sleep with who they want to. Like, that's what you would expect them to do. So, like, it's the opposite of irony. It's, it's just what you would expect. I think they put this here because they didn't have anything better to put here. And so they just threw in just a phrase that they hear women say sometimes. This one's supposed to be like, after you've been through a ton of men and are now a gaping hole, that's when you're ready to settle down. It's supposed to be like a, a play on that. Which is wild because so many men have it in their head that they're supposed to sleep with like as many women as possible and then settle down. In fact, that's what the phrase settle down implies is that at first, you was wildin' and then you settled down. But how can men sleep with a bunch of women and then settle down if they're spending all this time trying to stop women from sleeping with men? If you're trying to get women to maintain low body counts so that they're not gaping holes as this graph would imply, if she's keeping a low body count, she not fucking you neither, bro. But yeah, this is supposed to be, she's been with a bunch of men and now she's ready to settle down, which is ba the same thing men do, but it's cool when men do it, but it's a problem when she do it. That's basically what this is. And this last one is like, why can't I find a good man? But at this point, the implication is she's been through so many men. Like if the idea is that finding men is easy for her, but finding good men is difficult, that's not a unique experience. Like, you don't need a high body count to have that experience. I feel like that's commonly shared. But then also, this implication that good men don't fuck with women who've slept around. Who, who told you that? Like, I would love to see these self-proclaimed good men who bash women who have consensual sex. This incel clearly thinks he's one of the good men, but he's not because he made this shit. Good men aren't out here trying to bash women or shame women or anything like that. That's not how a good person spends their time. So that's the one layer. Let's visit the uh, an anatomical layer and talk about this increasingly larger whole thing. Uh, human bodies stretch, but they also return to size. Like, you don't have any parts in your body that stretch and then stay stretched. Unless you force them to, like people maybe with gauges and stuff. But by default, when your body stretches, if you stop stretching, it returns back to base. Women are capable of pushing a human baby out of their body and then returning back to base. To the point where you can't even tell they had kids. But you think her sleeping with a bunch of men is going to stretch her permanently? And not only that, but more permanently than her sleeping with the same man a bunch of times. You don't see this type of shit when you're talking about a woman sleeping with the same guy just a bunch of times. It's just not how the human body works. You've stretched before, like you've stretched your body, and then when you stop doing it for a while, it just goes back to normal. How could you even think that that's how it works when you be watching porn? Like y'all are watching an adult actress who's built just like this, 
and she's been with like a hundred guys and not just regular guys the biggest guys in the world like it just screams i don't know how women's bodies work like is it possible to wind up stretched like this absolutely but generally speaking in the same vein as like gauges and stuff it was intentional like they were trying to be stretched but this idea that if you sleep with a bunch of men this is going to be the result like it just it just screams i don't sleep with women like i don't know how women work because i don't have the experience y'all gotta stop making stuff like that like it's so wild that the people campaigning the hardest for women to stop sleeping with men are men who want to sleep with women they're the ones doing it like y'all be really fucking it up for yourselves like if i had a nickel for every time a dude talked himself out of getting laid like he messed it up by just saying some dumb shit i'd have so I'd have all the nickels. There wouldn't I'd have every nickel. But anyway, that's my breakdown. I'll see you guys in the next video.